let's see what this little ninja's got in her. I think I'm in second gear here. Jump out here real quick. Watch, watch this. Six to seven, seven it goes, jump! It's amazing how that picks up at seven. The power band runs above seven to I don't know where. But I always tend to shift down when it gets to six because the engine starts revving. And I like to keep my vehicles nice and smooth and quiet. And it just sounds like it's revving really high at six. So I shift, never knowing that the upper is where the fun actually happens. So it might be harder on your engine, but these bikes are made for fun, right? So now you look down and realize you're doing 90. And that's probably not a smart thing when the popos like to hang out out here in the real world. But at least it's fun. Bumps. No, that wasn't bad. The other nice thing about the upper echelon is she picks up a lot faster when you give her gas. So if you really need to get out of a jam or, or jump on something, she's ready to go. Alright, it's a 50 mile per hour area. I don't need no ticket. See, this guy doesn't want to go as slow as I am now. I'm doing 20 over. He wants to go faster than that. That might be a she, actually. Or a dude with a man bun. Whatever, do you, do you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back, normal crew. Give me a shout out in the comments if you want to be part of the normal crew. It is like 80 or 90 degrees today in Pennsylvania. And I'm riding with all this gear on. And uh, you might be able to see my arms a little dirty. And uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But if you notice the title, I think I made the title well, I'll be doing that when I post this video. But the title should be, Even Good Riders Go Down. And if you've been following along, I'm sure you haven't noticed that there hasn't been a lot of content this week on the, six, the V65 Sabre. Because we're on Buster today, the X500 Ninja, riding Kawasaki today. But uh, there's a reason <laughs> for the fact that there is no uh, footage this week on the Sabre. I do have some videos to post. I haven't gotten through them yet. But the point is, I went down on the V65. And uh, it was completely my fault. But I'll explain that to you in a minute. I just want to tell you that if I didn't have my gear on and I didn't have the padded jacket, and I didn't have my jeans, at least. I do have padded pants too that would have given me more protection. I've got a few bruises, but the jeans did protect me. I slid, I don't know, five feet in the grass. And if I didn't have that stuff on, I might not have, uh, I would have survived. But I may have a little bit more bruising or broken bones or such. So, anywho, definitely riding on Buster today. It's hot. I have a black jacket on. I do have my outer liner in because I rode the other day. It was cold. Could have probably pulled that, but um, 
and might not have learned my lesson because I am wearing shorts today. Don't know if you can see that. That's a stupid thing to do, especially after an experience like that. But I've been riding for 20 years plus, and uh, they always say you're not a real rider if you haven't gone down or something. And uh, I can honestly say until last week, I have never gone down. But now I checked that box off. So let's just not do it again. Uh, I feel a little vulnerable with shorts on, but so be it, it's hot. And I didn't feel like packing extra pants. So anyway, I will show you the bike at some point. It, uh, the 84 V65 Saber is a tank. I think what I did was I hit a curb and then uh, laid over in the grass. And basically I went head first and that's why my arm's all dirty. And really that's the only dirt that I have on me. I have a bruise on my above my left knee, my right knee, and a bruise on the outside of my left knee. But that's it. Um, the bike, the turn signals actually got knocked off, but they still worked. The guard that's on the outside, that is a sweet truck. That transformer. Uh, the guard that sits on the outside of the radiator got pushed into the radiator hose, which in turn punctured the hose. So all my coolant leaked out the bottom hose. Um, as far as I know, I have replaced that and I haven't put coolant in yet. As far as I know, it's probably okay. But I did ride it for about half an hour to 45 minutes home without coolant and the bike never over overheated. The only problem I had was the clutch. I'm guessing the clutch fluid would get hot and then it would quit working because of course it worked when I left. Oh, I had to bend the, uh, the shifter pedal back into place too, but I was able to ride it as it was. So the turn signals, the shifter peg, shifter pedal, and uh, the headlight got knocked out of place, but I just have to move it back into place. And I, as far as I could tell from riding it the rest of the way, the engine wasn't overheating and the clutch would get hot, I believe, and then quit working. Because I stopped at one point when it stopped working and it started working again and I took off and it, I made it home. So that was an interesting thing, but the engine never showed it was overheating, so I'm hoping it's fine seems okay but I'm gonna put coolant back in it and see how it reacts uh, other than that that bike is a tank if it didn't puncture the coolant line I probably could have jumped up and just rode away but it seems good and that's all I'm gonna say about that right now because I don't want to jinx it but you know what happened was I was going down I had already ridden for four hours that day and I was coming home in the dark on back roads that I didn't know. And what I did was I had my phone in my tank bag down here, not on this bike, of course. But, so I was glancing down to, to check on my directions. And I was looking ahead of myself in the dark and looking ahead for car lights to judge where the road was gonna be. So I knew I had a good long straight stretch. And unfortunately, that was a different road so my road came up and turned to the right sharp and then it hit hit the next road but when i looked forward all i saw was a straight road ahead of me and didn't realize that there was a gully and a ditch in between so uh i ended up basically not turning and going straight off the road hitting a a, a curb and it mustn't have been a huge curb because i think my wheel's fine i didn't see any damage and it seems to ride straight and fine so, uh, I just went over the curb and basically laid the bike over to the left and I went one, I went to the left and the bike went a little bit and I don't think I was going super fast, probably like 30 miles per hour or so. And, uh, we just slid about 10 feet, maybe five feet. I really don't know, but within a minute there was a pedestrian on site helping me out checking my I jumped up picked the bike up put it on the center stand and uh, we obviously noticed the coolant was leaking and uh, my side cover got knocked off the left 
but it isn't damaged at all maybe the tabs are a little crooked but I stuck it back on and it stayed on the rest of the trip so I think I could save that but yeah I mean that bike really took a beating it wasn't a bad beating but it seems to be fine and uh, within another minute there was a firefighter on site I don't know if he was a paramedic he had his radio with him and uh, give a shout out to these guys I really appreciate them checking me out the first thing he said was are you okay and uh, kind of was looking me over making sure all my joints were working and I could move and wasn't in pain and uh, he said hey if if you're off the road here and you're feeling okay I can not have to call it in and he felt good about the situation so they took off and then another firefighter showed up and said he heard it he was sitting on his front porch so he ended up coming down and checking on me and he seemed to think I was okay so everybody left I started her up and I, I rode off um, of course I was watching my temp gauge making sure the engine wasn't overheating because that's the worst thing you can do in that situation is blow up your engine if it's fine and uh, so like I said the bike seems okay I'm not going to talk too much about it because I haven't ridden it since to make sure but um, just let you know you need to pay attention when you're out there especially on roads you don't know I need to get a phone mount that's up here so I cannot take my hand, uh, eyes off the road as much that's going to be much better situation uh, usually I know where I'm going but since I'm commuting and riding these bikes more and more especially for the channel I do need a better option for my directions so anyway just to let you know I laid the V65 Sabre over but at least I have other bikes to ride so content still coming I have the Sabre back together just need to put coolant in it and try and ride it around some short trips just to make sure it's safe and uh, back up to par I may not push it as hard as I was just till I know that I didn't break anything but it looks good and I don't see any other leaks so I think we're all right I may might change out the clutch fluid put in new dot four brake fluid just to make sure that that's if it got cooked that it's okay just for preventative maintenance make sure that it won't fail on me in the future but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know if you're out there doing stupid stuff be careful because I just maybe I took my eyes off the road thinking I was fine and uh, I wasn't so good riders go down that was the first time I ever went down on a bike in 20 years and uh, now I can say that I have and it happens to the best of us and I'm not saying I'm a great rider I'm not the best but I don't take a lot of risks because I don't feel it's worth it it's better to be safe and get home with your bike and yourself in one piece and uh, didn't think I was gonna make this video I didn't think I was gonna have a need to make this video but it happens to all of us so just let you know rebuilding the Sabre and uh, still riding the X500 so that's the story for today hope you check back in and uh, see the progress on the Sabre like I said I did kind of it's embarrassing I did kind of fix what I needed to there wasn't really anything major that you know would have warranted having a video sticking some screws back in and replacing a hose um, and then I gotta of course put coolant back in it but other than that she should be good to go and uh, we'll be back on the road with the V65 Saver so AX500 Ninja doing its job doing its thing making me happy even when the other bike is sad so guys I appreciate you watching I appreciate you being safe being part of the normal guy crew and I will see you in the next